Hey, what's up my YouTube friends? Welcome to my quick and dirty review of the Mossy Oak 19-in-1 multi-tool. It is kind of an outdoor oriented multi-tool because it's got a fire starter. There's a whistle there too. It's got a hammer at the glass breaker. That's more urban survival. This same multi-tool is sold by several different brands. For example, Bybury sells the same tool. All right, and this is, these are all the functions of the multi-tool. You can freeze frame that and look at it at your leisure. Comes with this pouch. Nice. Now, I would advise you to purchase whichever brand's multi-tool is lowest priced at the time. All right, so I will include several links, all to the same tool, different brands and you can compare prices. Now the four longer tools on this are a two-sided file, a wood saw, a combo edge knife blade, scissors, it has a hammer surface here, and a window breaker there. It also has a whistle and a fire starter. The fire starter folds out and it's removable so that you can strike it with the file. We also have your typical multi-tool pliers, right? Now the longer tools do lock. That is the lock, right? So it's a liner type lock. All smaller tools lock in place with a lever style lock. To release the lock, push that, and that's the lock. The smaller tools are a combo opener with a wire stripper, two slotted screwdrivers. Now this tool is an awl. An awl is a punch usually a leather punch. This multi-tool has ruler markings on the handles. Okay, here's the pocket clip in action. This is a heavy multi-tool. I think most people are just going to use it in the pouch, but there is a close-up of that clip. It's there if you need it. Okay, here is the saw. I've been playing with it. Let's just show you that. The saw is aggressive and it works quickly. You can make stop cuts for whittling. You can make notches and grooves. Okay, here you see a couple grooves that I quickly cut using that saw, so it works well. Now I already tested these on easier wire and it, it worked fine, it was too easy. So we're going to use this triple strand wire right here. Some people have to cut this on the job. I've heard from a few people that uh, have to cut this on the job. So it'll go through it, no problem. Another use of the pliers, you can pull stuff out like that. Here's my utility knife with uh, snap-off blades. So if you need to grip something, there you go. And of course, if you just need to, if you need to hold something in place like so, or to turn something, these will be useful. See that pivot screw there? You can tighten or untighten things. All right, let's tighten it back down. Just right. So that's useful and also has a smaller slotted screwdriver. This has a file with a roughed surface and a cross hatch. So you could use this to smooth out woodwork, for example. You could use it uh, to get rid of burrs on metal. All right, here we go with the scissors on some paracord. The scissors, they work really well. Yeah, the scissors are excellent on this. All right, here's the combo tool. Let's try and keep this in frame here. <laughs> there you go. All right, here's your breakfast. All right, this is my offhand, so hold on. There we go. Just gonna pierce it to show you it can, and then you would work your way all the way around. Now this has a wire stripping notch, but unfortunately on mine, this black coating is like covering the edge, right? It's like covering the edge, so I'm going to have to remove that coating. So for now, this is basically a wire bending notch. It's just like it's a wire bending notch. Uh, but if you sharpen that, you could use it as a wire stripping notch. You can use this for various tasks. Here you go. Seems to work well for whittling. Uh, and I also did, I did the old paper test 
when I first got this. So after this I'll roll that in. Alright, so the blade works well. Let me roll in the paper test and we'll be back. Nice! Well, it was pretty sharp. But yeah, the uh, plain edged part seems to be sharp. You got this combo edge part there. And I'm not going to do the combo edge on the paper because it's just not meant for that, but... Focus. Haha, <laughs> yes. So there you go. And the uh, combo edge, like that serrated portion, I'm not sure what you might use it for, maybe cutting through fibrous rope. Now just, just pretend that this paracord was like a, you know, much thicker fibrous rope. You know, you, you basically saw it through, so that could have some use. Got to get on my fire starters. There you go. It's starting. Okay. Come on. Yeah, it'll go. I used some special fire starters on this because this is, this is such a small fire steel, right, that I used some of my fire starters, which I'll tell you about later, because I didn't want to have to use up too much of the fire steel. You got to conserve this. Uh, but yeah. It can generate some sparks. Yeah, like a small fire starter like this, it's better than nothing. You know, it, it's only for emergencies, all right? But it can, it can generate some sparks. Okay, so these are Q-tips. I cut off the heads, right? So you cut the heads off some Q-tips, and then you roll them around in petroleum jelly, and those things will catch sparks very efficiently. It's particularly important with like a little mini fire steel like that, right, that you don't want to use up too much of it. So those little mini fire starters, I learned that from uh, Army Ranger Rick website actually. Now this has a whistle. Okay, be advised, we're going to blow this whistle and since the microphone is right there, you know, this might hurt your ears, but I'm going to blow this whistle. Okay, well it seems to work. So this has a glass breaker right there. It's very hardened. I don't have any car windows I need to smash right now, but this thing is, is very hard. You can literally draw on this rock with it. I've smashed it against cinder blocks and so forth, and it's still just as pointed, okay? So that's very hardened. They've put this at a slight angle, and if you look at their listing, they show it being used with this in a closed position like this. And so they put that at a slight angle so you can still do that. Okay. Or you could open it. But yeah, this has some uses. You know what I'm saying? You can leave a message for your rescuers somewhere as well. So this has a stout metal surface here with some texture. And notice they've also put a hex cut out there that could perhaps except some bits. Okay, so we got a tent stake that we carved earlier. You could use this hammer to, uh, you could pound some tent stakes. Useful. I would say this also has some possible self-defense application, if you know what I mean. Okay, the awl. Now an awl is a punch, right? It's uh, a leather punch or you can use it to, uh, punch through any type of material right like so all right so it's a, it's a decent punch and that allows you to sew it has a sewing hole there now, however I did try to use this as a reamer because a lot of awls can be used as a reamer but this was not really good for that so overall do I think this is worth the price absolutely I paid thirty dollars for it and I definitely feel like I got my money's worth. Now, is it a perfect multi-tool? Well, no, it's not perfect. I wish that the um, awl could be used as a reamer. My wire stripper didn't have an edge on it, and I would prefer more length of plain edge. But really, those are only minor things. The good points of this multi-tool far outweigh any negatives. Those scissors are excellent, just as good as my Swiss knife scissors. 
The hammer surface is super useful not only for tent stakes but around a workshop and for self-defense. Uh, the glass breaker could definitely be useful. A backup fire starter? That never hurts. The plain edge they did give you has a real edge and was sharp. The saw worked well. A couple of screwdrivers, combo opener. Yeah, that's all good. Uh, the wire cutters worked well, even on uh, three-strand wire. So overall, this definitely, this definitely is worth the price. Like I said, multiple brands sell the same tools, so I will list several different links so that you can compare prices. And I would just recommend buying whichever is the lowest priced at the time.